Welcome to September's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is slowest key. A newly designed keypad was tested where a tester pressed a sequence of n keys one at a time. You are given a string keys pressed of length n where a key pressed i was the ith key pressed in the testing sequence and a sorted list of release times where release times i was the time the ith key was released. Both arrays are zero indexed and yada yada yada. Okay, so we want to return the key of the key press that had the longest duration. If there are multiple such key presses, then return the lexicographically largest key of the key presses. So if we had like A, B, C, and all of those had the same release times, we want to re return C because C is lexicographically the largest. All right, so this is actually a simple problem. It's worded very long and makes it sound very complicated, but all we really need to do is look at the previous number behind and we can calculate the time of how long that key was pressed, right? And we can just iterate down and keep track of what the largest time was. If we find that this time is is greater than the one that we tracked so far, we'll uh, reinitialize a, a new key. But if we find the time is the same, then we want to check to see if the key pressed is lexicographically larger. And if that is, we'll, we'll change our output as well. So uh, what we'll do is first start off by storing the key and the time that it took. And the very first item here is just going to be what? Keys pressed of zero and release time zero, right? Because this is literally this minus zero is going to be the time that it took for this key. Now all we need to do is say for i in range of one to length of doesn't matter, let's say release times. We're going to uh, calculate the time for this key here. Uh, so for second key, all we need to do is we'll call it cur time, which is going to equal, let's see, release times of i subtracted by release times of i minus one. And I suppose we can keep track of the key pressed here as well. I don't think we really need to do that though. Uh, we'll just check now. All right, if cur time is greater than the time that we stored so far, then we want to update our key to be this and update our time to equal cur time, right? But say that this are, these are equal, because uh, that's possible too. Well, then we'll say or cur time equals, and remember we stored the key right here, right? So we'll say and key or the key that we're looking at right now, keys pressed of i, if it's lexicographically greater than key, and these are equal, then we'll also do the same thing. Finally, we just return the key, and that should be it. So let's look, make sure this works. Looks like that's working. And accepted. So time complexity is O of n, and Space complexity should be constant because this, this is all we're storing. So it's a pretty easy problem. You can definitely get confused by the wording. Uh, my first approach, I tried to create a dictionary and like sum up all the times. And I was confused at why that didn't work. But it's only when I reread the question, I realized, oh, we're just looking at the longest key one time that you press. That's the longest, right? Not, not the sum of all these keys. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.